hi friends so welcome to the class so this is our hopefully last lecture because we have covered everything in text analysis and in this lecture today we will be only doing a hands on exercise how to conduct pos tagging the part of speech tagging so by now i had already explained to you what is part of speech tagging and how you can utilize that right, as a marketer or a researcher right so last lecture we did a hands on exercise on named entity recognition now the use of both of these we have seen how marketers can use them to understand the customers mind you know what the customers are talking about how they are thinking about your product versus your competitors product and ek once you understand these things you if you can understand your customer well automatically as a marketer or a company you can develop better services for your customer right but if you are a researcher also you can use it for you know for linguistic research and all right so last lecture we talked about how to make a have a hands on exercise on named entity recognition and in this lecture we will talk about how to do a exercise with part of speech tagging okay so let us get into our you know a platform and start running in the collab the part of speech tagging okay so if you see this so the first code that we are writing here is import nltk right from you know nltk dot tokenize from entire this code right this three lines that we are writing now when you write this what happens it loads the nltk library so natural language toolkits library so which is basically a toolkit for working with the human language data so obviously as we have said machines will not understand so we have to make them well versed with our the way we are talking right so it imports the function to you know break a sentence into the individual words which is basically nothing but tokenization right then it imports the function that assigns the part of speech like noun verb adjective etc to each word token then after this we'll go to the next two lines that we are writing written here right so nltk download punkt right and then nltk download this one this entire line right so when you write this and run it so if you run what will it tell it it downloads the punkt tokenizer models punkt right so which are necessary for breaking text into words and sentences and it's what power functions like word underscore tokenizes right and it downloads the nltk download it downloads the pre trained uh, pos tagger model so that nltk uses to assign parts of speech to each word in the sentence next we, what we will do is we will go to this you know long line of you know codes okay so this part of the code defines a dictionary called pos_description that maps the pos part of speech tags to their full meanings in plain english okay so each tag like nn vbz or jj is a shorthand used by pos taggers like you know to describe the grammatical role of a word so it could be a noun verb whatever it is right so since these tags are just abbreviations dictionary is created as a reference guide to explain what each tag actually means so nn is noun singular or mass means if a word is tagged as nn it is a singular noun like cat or dog or whatever it is vbj is a verb third person singular present means the verb is present tense and used with he she it right like he runs or she runs she eats or he eats like something like that jj stands for adjective means it describes a noun like beautiful fast hungry so this is useful when you want to display or interpret the pos tags in a human readable way okay so especially when you are analyzing or visualizing the tagged text data okay after this we go to the next line so next code is text is equal to for example this is the text we are writing so the sentence is our new hydrating serum is amazing and gives your skin a radiant glow now it is meant to be used as input for the nlp tasks like tokenization and part of speech tagging when you write this codes you know this line breaks the sentence into the individual words and punctuation marks called tokens so for example it splits our new hydrating serum into a list like our new hydrating serum four different right 
this and then the tag is equal to POS underscore tag this takes the list of tokens and assigns a part of speech tag to each one identifying whether each word is a noun or a verb or adjective etc. The result is a list of words list of you know pairs like our then new new JJ right serum NN. So, then you go to this print you know print uh, command. So, when you give this code print so when after this this step displays the results of the POS tagging in a clear human readable format. So, each part what it does is when you write print so it prints a title so that output is easy to understand for word tag in tagged loops through each word and its POS tagged from the tag list created earlier. Description is equal to uh, this one looks up the full meaning of the POS tag from the post des underscore description dictionary. So, that is a reference no and if the tag is not found it defaults to unknown and the last line it nicely formats and prints each word its POS tag and the tags full description. So, this dot uh, semicolon 15 and uh, semicolon uh, 5 makes the output aligned in columns basically. Okay. The next line of code that we are written here POS underscore groups this one. Now, when you write this it organizes the POS tags into broader grammatical categories to make more structured and meaningful you know for your analysis. Now, what is happening here? A dictionary named POS underscore group is defined and each key like noun, verb, adjective represents a grammatical category. The corresponding value is a list of specific tags that fall under that category. And when you write this code now results is equal to key this one, this creates an empty results dictionary to store the words grouped by the POS category. Okay. The next code that we are writing results is equal to this one, this uses the dictionary comprehension to create a new dictionary where each key is taken from the POS group dictionary. So, as we had said you know I had said this is a reference uh, dictionary if it is not something is not available then it will give you unknown right. The value for each key is an empty list which will later hold the words that belong to that group POS group. The next codes that you can see here it is this step categorizes the words from the tokenized and the POS tagged sentence into predefined grammatical groups such as noun verbs etc. So, what it does it iterates through each word and its POS tag checking which group the tag belongs to right whether it belongs to a noun whether it belongs to an adjective where it belongs to if a match is found the word is added to the corresponding dictionary in the results dictionary sorry corresponding category and if no match is found the word is placed under an others category. So, this process helps to organize helps to organize the words into their respective grammatical roles right making it easier to analyze specific types of words in the sentence. Then after this when we give this command this print command right this step displays the words categorized by their part of speech tags in a structured and readable format. It first prints a header to indicate the start of the POS words display then for each POS category such as noun verb it checks if there are any words under that category. If there are it prints the category name followed by each word and its corresponding tag right in a aligned manner. The categories are separated by blank lines for clarity and the output helps to visualize visually organize the words in the sentence according to their grammatical roles. So, then it becomes very easy to understand right which words belong to which category. Okay. So, if you see this right. So, here we have done this and when for example, in our case you see hydrating now serum skin glow they all come into the noun category is gives is coming in the verbs category new amazing and radiant comes in the adjectives your our your comes in the pronouns a is a determiner and is a conjunction and dot is an full stop is an others okay so because it is not recognized in any category so right so all this helps you to conduct a part of speech tagging right and you have understood now that all these different words how they are broken up into different categories and what is the importance of it and it will help you to guide you through to make your research in a better way and if you are a manager or a company person then it will help you to understand 
how to utilize this part of speech to understand your customer better. Basically, the whole idea is to making your marketing exercise more meaningful or whatever your, your functional area, which your functional area you are from, which are finance that does not matter. So, which are the key words, what are the nouns, which, what are the adjectives that people are using and the part of speech tagging uh, helps you to create a very grammatically correct version and, and accordingly distribute the words into their respective categories. right? And named entry recognition we have understood that it gives you the names, date, place and all these things. So, that has its own importance and this also has its own importance. So, as a researcher or as an you know student you have to think how you can utilize this for your benefit in your uh, either your academics or if you are a working person how you can use it for your company. right? So, this is all I had to teach to give you right. I think we are done with it. Now, you can you can practice as much as possible and improve your skills right. Obviously, once if you see you will not learn because for me also it is a constantly evolving process. So, and every day things are changing, updations are happening. So, keep updated always and keep try working hard on this and it will give you a very, very beautiful insights about the customers, their experience and all which will be very, very handy for you right. I think I have made an attempt to teach text analysis in the way which would be very useful to you and I believe it comes really valuable to you and uh, with this I will wind up my lecture. Take care and thank you very much.